The following is a demonstration of Visual Modflow Flex and the new unstructured grid version of Modflow called Modflow USG. Let's start by reviewing the conceptual model. This example contains three layers, an upper and lower aquifer separated by an aquitard in the middle. Boundaries are represented by polylines. A constant head is at the north end and a simple river is in the south end of the model, each with three stress periods. There are two water supply wells in the middle that are screened over the lower aquifer. Once the conceptual model is built, you can proceed on to defining the unstructured grid. Visual Modflow Flex uses a robust grid generator that is capable of refining the grid around your wells and boundary conditions. These objects are included as add-ins to the grid generator. You can specify the desired cell size around points, which are the wells, lines representing your bounding conditions, and this will be honored by the grid generator. There is also a smoothing factor that allows you to adjust from small cell sizes to larger cell sizes. After applying these settings, you can generate the grid and see a preview in the 3D viewer. This process can be repeated several times to get the desired grid resolution and cell size that you want. Once the grid has been created, it is added to the model tree, and you can display this in a 3D viewer alongside your other data objects. The grid lines can be exported to a shapefile for post-processing. As we zoom in onto the grid, you can see the smaller cell sizes defined around the point add-ins. You can also see more detailed cell sizes around your polyline add-ins. Next you're ready to convert the conceptual model to a numerical model. Press the convert button and you'll see that the model tree is generated with the cell representations for the properties and the bounding conditions. After conversion the first step you'll see are the properties. You can see the hydraulic conductivity cells rendered by their property zone ID in a 3D viewer. There are several options for viewing the property cells, including the entire 3D grid, rendering by layer, or cross sections. The cross sections can be displayed alongside your conception model representations for correlating the numerical model with the original geological model. In this model, the initial heads were defined using a raster grid. You can now see the corresponding cell representations of these initial heads. The initial heads can be displayed as cells or color map with contour lines. Next you will see the cell representations of the bounding conditions. The red cells are the constant heads. Notice the detailed grid refinement around these bounding conditions. The locations of the cells is calculated based on the polylines that were used to define the bounding conditions in the conceptual model. The same is true for the points that represent your pumping wells. You can see very detailed cell size around the points representing the wells giving you a high level of accuracy around your areas of interest. In addition, you'll see that the cell size changes gradually to the larger background cell sizes. For all the bounding addition cells, you can show the node ID. This will assist you when editing the parameter values for individual cells or for a group of cells and also will help for validating the parameter values in the appropriate Modflow USG packages. Finally, you'll see the blue cells along the bottom of the model domain which represent the river cells. Note the small size for the river cells and the gradual smoothing in the cell size from these river cells to the larger surrounding cells. The boundary condition cells can be displayed in a 3D viewer, providing a rich environment for correlating your raw data to your conceptual model.
You are now ready to create the Modflow USG packages. Upon clicking the Translate button, the various USG package files will be created. You'll see the new Unstructured Grid Discretization package, the Property and Basic packages, and each of the Bounding Edition packages. Once the translation is complete, you can run Modflow USG with this transient model. Upon completion of the run, you'll see a summary from the list file showing the mass balance for each of the stress periods. There are various display options for interpreting and analyzing the results, including coloring each cell by the head attribute, showing continuous color maps with contour lines, and also projecting along a cross-section plane. In this transient model, you can adjust the output times through the settings window, which is not shown here, and apply the changes to the resulting 3D viewer to see the resulting changes in heads at these new output times. The results can be exported to raster images, AVI video file, or to shape files with attributes. This concludes the demonstration of Vision Modflow Flex and Modflow USG. For more details, please visit our website.